Here we go. And roll the things. Oh my God. Are we crazy? Living our lives through a lens. Hi everyone. Welcome to the set of my music video for my new song, Chain to the Rhythm. So comfortable we're living in a bubble, bubble. So comfortable we're gonna see the trouble, trouble. We've created an amusement park called Oblivia, full of absurd rides and happy-go-lucky people that are just so happy to lose their minds while riding them. It's based on the word oblivion, the state of something that is not remembered, used, or thought about anymore. The state of being unconscious or unaware. The state of not knowing what is going on around you. The state of being destroyed. It's mostly about being unconscious and unaware. When you see a, a Katy Perry video, you, you know you're going to be stepping into a world. We wanted to take the things that you would expect, but then turn it on its head slowly as the video progressed. You know, we leave breadcrumbs that everything isn't what it seems in Oblivia. Katie's character Rose, as she, you know, moves to this world, there's just things that are off. With Katie, every choice matters. When we were building Oblivia, when we were coming up with the names of the rides, you know, every single story beat was important to her because it's, you know, ultimately her voice. She really takes ownership, you know, of the work and is involved in every little detail, every little design, every word. Um, you know, every bit of fashion. The inspiration behind this look is kind of like a take on a sci-fi futuristic 1950s vibe. We're not in the 1950s, we're in kind of what the 1950s thought we were in the future, like a 2037. Katie's outfit, now that I saw it with the hair and makeup, I tend to think it's like a futuristic Marilyn Monroe, which I quite like. My thought was that she was the only one in white because I thought she would stand out from the crowd. So we've really been trying to avoid white so that she could shine. You know, I'm like a blueberry going out in the rain in like 3000s. I'm a green alien ready for battle. Basically, I'm just in a latex suit and I'm sweating like crazy, but it looks good, so that's all that matters. I'm an undercover futuristic alien who fell in love with Clark Kent, but he left me. <laughs> We've got a 1950s style. It's kind of Jetson-y though, a little bit. This is like the Jetsons meets Scooby-Doo. <laughs> I don't even know what the Jetsons are. I'm Swedish. It's very colorful and has a lot of different textures. And the future vibe can kind of come from like the raincoats or like the see-through plastic or the neons and things like that. So it's very like Pleasantville meets Edward Scissorhands, things like that. The first ride that she comes across is called the Great American Dream Drop. You know, these perfect couples getting into these houses and you know, sort of going up into the sky. You know, as Kay's coming up to it, there's white picket fence and red roses and what we think are thorns, she goes over to sort of smell the rose, but the thorns are actually barbed wire. You know, so there's a sort of something, you know, like is a miss. You just saw me um, and my friends ride the Love Me coaster. Which is a coaster that you get on, you get paired with um, the opposite sex, and you go on it thinking you're gonna couple up and like find your true love. But the eventuality is that after the ride, it's a singular ride, it's kind of a competitive ride to see who has more love, more followers, more likes, more attention. Um, so it's called the Love Me Ride at Validation Station. It's kind of like our addiction to social media. Keep sweeping it under the mat. Well, the biggest ride here at Oblivia is the wheel, which we all get on and we all want to ride to the most extreme degree. And of course, the hamster is on a wheel. 
so he would be our mascot. And it all has delicious subtext, all intertwined in every ride. And this is a wheel. I've never been on this type of wheel. I think they use these, these wheels probably in like Cirque du Soleil and things like that. It's a bit scary because you lose your footing. Whoa! Whoa! Woo! It goes faster and faster, and you can't keep up, and your perception starts to change, and it starts playing tricks on your minds, and that's life, and also the wheel. Yeah. <laughs> to the rhythm